Everything about you comes from your brain or goes into your brain. We are nothing without our ability to look at our world, to understand it, to process it, to push it, and for it to push us back. I think it's the ultimate aspect of our being to understand. In my lab, we're interested in understanding how sensory experience influences the development and aging of the brain. And we can actually understand how to help people with autism process sensory information and learn better now that we know essential information about how the brain develops and works. Surprisingly, signals from the gut are sent back to the brain to regulate not only things like feeding behavior, but also aspects of anxiety, aspects of mood regulation, and so on. So we hope that we can play our part towards helping identify novel mechanisms as well as therapies to address this constellation of diseases. Most of biology focuses on chemical signaling. Our lab focuses on something very different, and that is how cells sense mechanical force. Hearing, touch, pain, all of these rely on sensing stretch for the cells, and the molecules that were required for this sensation were not known, and my lab was the first one to identify them. Scripps is really willing to invest in risky research. This is how great breakthroughs are made. Science never ends, so there's a lot of very important questions in neuroscience and beyond. And I think we really are living in the golden age of biomedical research. I think the future is very bright, not just for basic understanding of physiology, but also for disease. I mean, where are we without science? I, I can't think of a single field, any domain of human life that isn't impacted by science. Whether you take, I mean, human health, of course, whether you take climate change, whether you take the environment, whether anything that allows us to be the best humans we can be, science has come in and bent the curve on that. So can't imagine humanity without science.